Now, let's begin with the hurdles you had to cross to clinch this uh, victory. Thank you very much for that beautiful question. Uh, well, there are many challenges and obstacles before getting to where I am this morning, at this moment. Uh, it has been an up and down, a roller coaster moment, the very happy one, the one that will make you sad. Mm. At the point after the primary election we did in, in May, I was taken, I was uh, taken to court by a, by my co-contestant in the APC primary there. So it was dragged from the Federal High Court to the Supreme Court, to the Supreme Court level. But uh, today I can say we come out well and to the election, to the poll as well. It was a very, very challenging one, which uh, well, we don't see it as a challenge anymore because we are all smiling for victory. But I must say, it is not something that is so easy. But one thing I believe as a human being, even outside politics, there is life. There is life in the sense like we just have to face something, one thing or the other. And everything, all these things are not here to stay. They are just here for a moment. And after the moment, which I always believe, okay, this is happening right now, the another time, another moment, another thing will happen. So this is what I believe. And I see it also in politics, like you will always face one thing or the other. And that one thing or the other will move, will pass on, and another one will come. So there is no big deal. It's just a normality. As a human being, we need to face all of this thing if truly we want greatness for ourselves. Because there is no free food anywhere. You just mm. have to know that responsibility is responsibility. Right. So how were you able to garner the support you got from members of your constituency? You had uh, over 7,000 votes. Thank you. Uh, it was a serious and very, very, uh, it was a serious and uh, we put a lot of hard work to get that uh, vote. Well, I work with the party structure, I work with the people of the constituency. I have the massive support from people, our campaigns, we go to every villages, every communities, every ward. So, I've been constant, and people see the uh, the the confidence, the courage, the willingness to do in me. So I was able to get the support, the love, the acceptance from our people. So, and I've been the daughter of the soil, someone who has lived, who is living with them, who knows what they really want, what they really need, not someone that they bring from somewhere to come and represent them. I happens to be from there. I am living there. So I have already have all of this thing and they have known we have known this uh, about me. So it wasn't something so hard to get acceptance from people. Right. Now talk to us about the kind of support you got from the women folk leading up to this election. Um, people would say that you are young, you are a lady, and we know how patriarchy plays in our society. Uh, what kind of support and conversation did you get with regards to perhaps persons telling you that um, uh, perhaps this is not your time to you know, take up this role? <laughs> Well, uh, that's not the patriarchal system we you just talk about. is not really working anymore in Fara State as a whole, because the governor has already set a pace, has already break the glass for us, has already give us the level playing field by giving women and youth the necessary attention in government, and everybody in the news and cranny of Fara State has already has this in their ears. So it's not that it's not so hard for me to sell myself to people. Another yes, there are some people that will say she's young, but I keep telling them that even before Nigeria got independent in 1960, those that fought for the independent, they are within their late twenties and thirties, their mid twenties and late thirties. So me coming up now, 
I don't think I'm still late because even according to the Not Too Young to Run bill starts from 25. So I get the ticket, I get a match at the age of 26. I think I'm a little bit late, one year late. So, and I've been able to convince them, convince them very well. Like they have seen all my activities, how I'm showing up, how I'm attending, attending to issue constructively. They have seen all of this thing and they see that they have chose rightly. So nobody is saying she's too young, maybe she's a woman anymore. 